Hi all, welcome to Anil Nair classes. Today in this session, we are going to discuss the solved example for the divisibility rule for selected prime numbers. We have already discussed the how to find the divisibility rule for few numbers where which comes very frequently in the examination. Today I will show you the application part of the concept that we discussed. Today is divisibility rule session 3. Session 4. In session 1, I will repeat it again. In session 1, we discussed the divisibility rule for 2, 5, 10. We discussed the divisibility rule for 2 power n, 5 power n and 10 power n. We also discussed the divisibility rule for 11. This is what we discussed in session 1. In session 2, in session 2, we discussed the theory of osculation. Theory of osculation. What does the theory of osculation states? If a, b is any number, if you can write this number as a plus or minus k into b as 0 or a, b, then you can find out the divisibility rule for any prime number. In session 3, in session 3, we discussed the divisibility rule for, divisibility rule for, 7, 11, 13, 77, 91, 143 and 1001. We discussed the divisibility rule for 19, 9, 101. We discussed the divisibility rule for 73. We discussed the divisibility rule for 41. We also discussed the divisibility rule for 271 and also for the 371. We also discussed the divisibility rule for 17 and 19. These are the some concepts which we discussed. In session 3, we only discussed the concept behind finding the divisibility rule for 7, 11, 13, 17, 19. Ramo, Praveen, Koncha Mella Matra and Nang Disturbance on the right. We discussed the divisibility rule for the concept for 7, 11, 13, 77, 91, 143, 1001, 99, 101, 73, 41, 271, 371. Now in divisibility rule session 4, we will discuss the application part of the concept that we discussed. Extremely important class. Listen carefully. How am I using that concept to simplify the problems? Now, those of you who are relatively new to my YouTube live classes or you are seeing it for the first time because somebody has referred you. My name is Anil Nair. I was the ex-career launcher South India academic head and I'm, I have taken session more than 1000 st students minimum 500 times. Right? Kindly sit in my class with a notebook and a pen or a pencil because most of the concepts you will not find it in the regular textbook or any of the channels that you sub subscribed. Watch the entire lecture and to get the maximum output from the lecture, please write down the important key points. At the end of the session, you will be able to eliminate the usage of pens and pencils and use the fullest power of your brain. The way you look at aptitude, I'm going to change it with a series of YouTube live classes. In case if you got any doubts, please send us a mail at support at the rate anilnayarclasses.com. Straight away we'll get into the class. I'm sure most of you know it. We are ranked number one in Google reviews all over India, right? If you can type Anil Nair classes, Bangalore reviews, Anil Nair classes, Bangalore reviews, you can see all these reviews, what the students keep talking about me. I will just repeat it once again, divisibility rule for 7, 11, 13. I will just recap the important concept, divisibility rule for 7, 11, 13. It is also useful for 77, 91, 143 and 1001. What is the concept? 10 power 3. 10 power 3 divided by any of these numbers 7, 11, 13, 77, 91, 143 and 1001. This is nothing but minus 1. This is the concept. Start from the rightmost. Start from the right hand side. Start from right hand side. 
टेक ए ग्रुप ऑफ थ्री डिजिट्स टेक ए ग्रुप ऑफ थ्री डिजिट्स टेक ए ग्रुप ऑफ थ्री डिजिट्स ऑल्टरनेटिवली एड एंड सब्ट्रैक्ट ऑल्टरनेटिवली ऑल्टरनेटिवली एड एंड सब्ट्रैक्ट दट इज द डिविजिबिलिटी रूल फॉर एनी ऑफ द नंबर ऑल्टरनेटिवली एड एंड सब्ट्रैक्ट दी इज द डिविजिबिलिटी रूल फॉर सेवन लेवन थर्टीन सेवेंटी सेवन नाइंटी वन वन फोर्टी थ्री थाउजेंड वन दीज आर नथिंग बट द कामेशन आफ सेवन लेवन थर्टीन टेकन टू एट ए टाइम आर टेकन आल टूगेदर आर यू आल वि दी इज द कॉन्सेप्ट विच वी आर गोइंग टू यूज फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम लिजन केरफुल फर्स्ट वन right before that there is also a divisibility rule for 27 and 37 that also we will discuss so next concept is divisibility rule for divisibility rule for 27 comma 37 divisibility rule for 27 comma 37 27 into 37 is 999 27 into 37 is 999 Ten power three divided by twenty-seven thousand is nothing but nine ninety-nine plus one when divided by twenty-seven nine ninety-nine divided by twenty-seven is remainder zero. So answer one. Similarly, remainder one ten cube divided by thirty-seven it is one. I hope it is clear because twenty-seven into thirty-seven is nine ninety-nine. Ten cube divided by twenty-seven is one. Ten cube divided by thirty-seven is one because ten cube is nine ninety-nine plus one. So idea is start from right hand side. Start from right hand side. Take a group of three digits. Start from right hand side. Take a group of three digits. Take a group of three digits. Add them. Start from right hand side. Take a group of three digits. Add them. That is the divisibility rule for twenty-seven comma thirty-seven. That is the divisibility rule for twenty-seven comma thirty-seven. These two important key points are there. Once you know this concept, this is a very very easy problem. Twenty-seven and thirty-seven divisibility rule is. Take a group of three digits. Add them. Take a group of three digits. Add them. Now we will apply. the same thing to this one there is a number that is given 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 first question is what is the remainder when you divide a number by 27 number is divided by 27 number divided by 27 is take a group of three digits starting from rightmost take a group of three digits take a group of three digits add them take a group of three digits and add them so this is nothing but 123 plus 456 plus 789 plus 101 plus 112 how to add these numbers right you don't need to add 123 plus 456 one is there in hundreds place 100 plus 400 500 500 plus 700 1200 plus 100 1300 plus 100 1400 so this will become 1400 1400 i worked with the hundreds place tens place these 20 these 50 Twenty plus fifty seventy seventy plus eighty one fifty one fifty plus ten one sixty. I worked with the tens place units place three plus six nine nine plus nine eighteen eighteen plus one nineteen nineteen plus two twenty one. So this is nothing but fifteen eighty one. Are you all with me? I worked with hundreds, right? One is there in hundreds place, four is there in hundreds place, seven is there in hundreds place, one is there in hundreds place, another hundred plus four hundred, five hundred plus twelve hundred, thirteen hundred, fourteen hundred. Then working with the tens place, twenty plus fifty plus eighty plus ten. Then working with the units place. Three plus six is nine. Nine plus nine eighteen. Nineteen twenty one. So the first one answer is remainder one fifteen eighty one divided by twenty seven. Divisibility rule of twenty seven is take a group of three digits and add them. So this is nothing but five eighty two divided by twenty seven. Twenty seven twos are fifty four. 
42. 27 ones are 27. Reminder is 15. First one answer is 15. I hope the idea is clear. Take a group of three digits, add them. That is the divisibility rule for 27. I hope the idea is clear. How to add these number also it is clear. Question 2. Find the reminder when you are dividing a number by 37. So same thing I will get. Reminder 1. Till here it is same. 582 divided by 37. 37. 37 ones are 37. Remaining is 212. 37 six are 222. Minus 10. If it is a negative reminder minus 10. Positive reminder will be 27. Second one. Answer is nothing but 27. First one, answer is nothing but 15. I hope the idea is clear. What is the divisibility rule for 27 and 37? Start from the right hand side. Take a group of three digits and add them. Take a group of three digits and add them. Idea clear, right? Crystal clear idea. Very easy question. How to add this number? First I worked with the hundreds place. Then I worked with the tens place. Then I worked with the tens place. Then I worked with the units place. Units place is nothing but 3 plus 6 plus 9 plus 1 plus 2. Idea clear, right? First and second application of divisibility rule for 27 and 37. First question, it is clear. Second one. Find the reminder when n is divided by 7, 11, 13. Now I will put a slash here. These three uses one concept. These two uses one concept. Question 1, comma, 2, comma, 3. Question 1, comma, 2, comma, 3 is nothing but what is the concept that we are using? 10 cube divided by 7 or 11 or 13 which is nothing but minus 1. 10 cube divided by 7 or 11 or 13 is minus 1. Now if you see question 100 is there, 101 is there, 102 is there. 999 is there. 999 is there. Total how many numbers are there? Total how many numbers are there? Low. Total number of numbers is given by. Number of numbers is given by. Highest value minus lowest value plus 1. 100 is, 100 is the highest value. 999. Lowest value is 100 plus 1. So, total 900 numbers are there which are written in the sequential order. Are you all with me? So, the first one, total how many numbers are there? 900 numbers are there. Suppose question 1. Suppose if you see 100, 101, 102 and so on up to 998, 999. Take a group of three digits, alternatively plus minus. Take a group of three digits, alternatively plus minus, plus minus, alternatively plus minus. Total 900 numbers are there. I am taking two numbers, 998 and 999. Alternatively add and subtract. 999 minus 998 is 1. 997 minus 996 is 1. Out of 900 numbers, two numbers I am taking it as a doublet. Doublet. Two numbers if I do alternatively add and subtract, I will get 1. So, 1, 1, 1. 900, I am taking two numbers at a time. So, total 450, I will get it. So, reminder 450 divided by 7. So, these are nothing but 7 6 are 42, 30. 7 4 are 28. Reminder is nothing but 2. Reminder is nothing but 2. Are you all with me? Again, I am explaining. The lowest number that I wrote in this is 100. Highest number which I wrote in this is 999. Lowest is 100, highest is 999. Total numbers that I wrote is highest minus lowest plus 1. Total 900 numbers I wrote. In these 900 numbers, start from the right hand side. Alternatively add and subtract. 
998 minus 998 is 1. 997 minus 996 is 1. That means if I wrote 4 numbers, if I wrote 4 numbers, I got 2 ones. If I wrote 6 numbers, I got 3 ones, which is half of 6. If I wrote 8 numbers, I will get 4. If I wrote 900 numbers, I will get half 450. 450 divided by 7 is 2. First one answer is 2. I hope the idea is clear. I hope the idea is clear. Second idea, what we will do is, just a small change, I will get the answer. Second one, if you see, 450 divided by 11. Second question, 11 fours are 44, 10. So, answer is 10 is the second one. I hope it is clear, right? 450 divided by 11 is nothing but minus 1 is the reminder because 451 is divisible by 11. Negative reminder minus 1, positive reminder 10. Second one also over. Third one, small change you will get the answer. 450 divided by 13. 13 threes are 13 9. 60, 13 fours are 52, 8. Third one it is 8. I hope it is clear. First three logics are 10 power 3 divided by 7, 11 or 30. Negative reminder is 1, minus 1. So, negative reminder minus 1, from there you can use it. Next one. So, first 3 are over. First 3 we discussed, take a group of 3 digits, alternatively add and subtract. Question number 4 and 5. Logic is, reminder 1, 10 power 3 divided by 27 or 37 it is 1. 27 or 37 it is 1. So, here it is 999. Here it is 998. And so on up to 100. Take a group of 3 digits, add them. Take a group of 3 digits, add them. So, take a group of 3 digits, add them. So, answer is nothing but 100 plus 101 plus 102 and so on up to 999. The series is in arithmetic progression. Arithmetic progression is n by 2 into first term plus last term. So, n total numbers are present are 900. 900 by 2 into 100 plus 999, which is nothing but 1099. So, these are nothing but 450 into 1099. I hope it is clear, right? So, this is nothing but the sum of this number. So, what is question number 4? Question number 4 is, why, what is the reminder when you divide a number by 27? 450 into 1099 divided by 27. 27 divisibility rule is, take a group of 3 digits and add them. 990 plus 1 is 100. So, 100 into 450 divided by 27. Whatever the answer that you will get, that itself is the answer. 27 fours are 108 minus 8. 27 ones are 27, 180. 27 six are 182 minus 2. Minus 8 into minus 2. So, fourth one answer is 16. Fourth one answer is 16. I hope it is clear. Sum of n terms in AP is nothing but n by 2 into first term plus last term. n by 2 into first term plus last term. This value 100 into 450 will not change for question number 5. Question number 5 also we will solve it here only. Question number 5. What is question number 5? Find the remainder when n is divided by 37. So, here it is. 100 into 450 divided by 37. So, 37 twos are 74, 26 into 37 ones are 37, 80, 37 twos are 74, 6. So, 26 six are 156, 156 when I further divided by 37, 37 fours are 148. So, answer is 8. Fifth also it is over. It is nothing but a simple calculation approach. Only thing what you should know in this question is 10 cube divided by 7 is minus 1. 10 cube divided by 11 is minus 1. 10 cube divided by 13 is also minus 1. That is the divisibility rule for 1, 2 and 3. 4 and 5 is 
10 cube divided by 27 is 1, 10 cube divided by 37 is also 1. Idea clear? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Next one. Next question is based on 259, 351, 176, 259. 259 is written as 7 into 37. 7 into 37. What is the next number? 351. 351. 351 is nothing but 13 twos are 26. 91. 13 sevens are 91. What is the next one? 176. 176 is nothing but 11 into 16. 11 into 16. Now in the next question it is a combination of 7, 11, 13, 37, 27 and everything. Now we will see this question. What is the question value that is given? 4 written 73 times. So 4, 4, 4, 4, 4. 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4 written 73 times divided by 259 divided by 259 now see here any single digit any single digit written in groups of 6 any single digit written in groups of 6 is always divisible by 7 any single digit written in groups of 6 is always divisible by 7 259 is 7 into 37 so if it is 7 4 written 6 times it is 0. 4 written 12 times it is 0. What is the multiple of 6 till 73? 6 12s are 72. How many 4s are remaining? 1 4 is remaining. That means if 4 4 4 4 4 4 written 73 times when divided by 7 I will get 1 4 remaining because if 4 is written 6 times reminder is 0. 12 times the reminder is 0. 72 times the reminder is 0. But the question is 73. That means 1 4 is left. Are you all with me? Next one. Any, I hope this concept clear. Any single digit, any single digit written p minus 1 times he this also you can use is always divisible by p p is not equivalent to 235 p is not equivalent to 235 if you take a prime number p is a prime number any single digit written p minus 1 times is all never always divisible by p when p is a prime number when p is a when p is a prime number when p is a prime number i hope it is clear now that means if 4 is written if 4 is written 36 times if 4 is written 36 times divided by 37 remainder will be 0 not only 36 times what is the next multiple of 36 72 times remainder is 0 that means 4, 4, 4 written 72 times divided by 37, it is 0. So, but, but the question is 4 is written 73 times. 4 written 73 times divided by 37. 36 times it is 0. 72 times it is 0. One more 4 is left. One more 4 is left. That means... When you divide a number by 7, you got a reminder 4. When you divide a number by 37, you got a 4. So, when divided by 7, reminder is 4. When divided by 37, reminder is 4. Both are equated with the same number. 4, 4 cancel. A is 0 or B is 0. So, 0 into something plus 4, answer is 4. Very, very good question. You don't need to do all this. Directly, you will get the answer if you understand this approach. Any single digit written P minus 1 times is always divisible by P. If P is a prime, P is not equivalent to 2, 3 and 5. Any single digit written P minus 1 times is always divisible by P if P is prime, P not equivalent to 2, 3, 5. If it is a 7, 
top it will become 6 times. What is the multiple of 6 till 73? 6 12s are 72. Remainder 1. So another 4 is left. If it is 37, numerator it will be 36 times. 36 2s are 72. How many left? 1. So again one more fee is left. Very very good question. Divisibility rule for 259 is nothing but the combination of 7 and 37. 7 and 37. First one answer is nothing but 4. First one answer is nothing but 4. Second one, question number 2. Question number 2. F find the reminder when number is divided by 351. Now, 351 is nothing but 13 2s are 26, 91. 13 7s are 91. 13 into 27. What is the divisibility rule for 13? Take a group of three digits alternatively add and subtract. Or what is the another divisibility rule? Any single digit. Any single digit. Written 12 times. Written in groups of 12. Written in groups of 12. Is always divisible by 13. That is what we had said. Any single digit written p minus 1 times is always divisible by p if p is prime. So, 73 is 12, 6 or 72. Reminder 1. Reminder 1, 4 is left. That means 13 when, when it is divided by number is divided by 13, I got 1, 4 left. 13a plus 4. Next one, 27. 27 is nothing but 10 cube divided by 27 is 1. So, if I take it into a groups of 3, groups of 3, 4, 4, 444, 444 and so on. So, this is nothing but 24 groups of, 24 groups of 244. Can I write? 444 is a 3 digit number. 3 digit number written 24 times. 3 24s are 72. One more 4 is left when divided by 27. So take a group of 3 digits and add it. So answer is nothing but reminder of 4 plus 444 into 24 divided by 27. Are you all with me? divided by 27 444 is triple one that means any single digit any single digit any single digit written in groups of three any single digit written in groups of three it is always divisible by 27 are you all with me any single digit written in groups of 3 it is always divisible by 27 why because 444 is 4 into triple 1 triple 1 is 4 plus triple 4 into 24 in this case what it will become is any single digit written in groups of 3 Groups of 3 power n is always divisible by 3 power n. Any single digit written in groups of 3 power n is, I will come back to that point. What am I saying? Please understand it. These 4 into triple 1. These are nothing but 8 is nothing, 24 is nothing but 3 into 8. 3 into 8. Now if you see. I hope it is clear, right? 4 plus a triple 4 into 24 divided by 27. Now, are we getting these nothing but triple 3? Or what you do is you just multiply it. 27 ones are 27. 174. 174 is 27. 6 are 162. Remainder is 12. Remainder is 12. So 12. 4 plus these 12. 12 into 24 divided by 27 is minus 3 divided by 27. Minus 36 plus 4 is minus 32. 32 divided by 27 is 5. Minus 5. Positive reminder is 23. I hope it is clear, right? Again, I am repeating. 3351 is 13 into 27. Any single digit written in groups of 12 is always divisible by 13. Groups of 12 means 73. 12 6 are 72. 1 4 is left. 
one four will be left here when divided by 13 one four is left check with the answer option we are doing it by 27 27 is a nothing but take a group of three digits add one 444 is a three digit number 24 groups will be there 4 plus triple 4 into 24 divided by 7 23 equate both the equations you will get the answer i hope idea is clear if it is not clear i will do one more example so that it will be clear idea is to use the divisibility rule for 13 and 27 logic clear question number three question number three question number three is 176 176 is 11 into 16 11 into 16 11 into 16 11 into 16 now what is the concept that we used for 11 any single digit any single digit written in groups of 10 any single digit written in groups of 10 any single digit written in groups of 10 is always divisible by 11 any single digit written p minus 1 times is always divisible by p if p is a prime number so 10 7s are 70 reminder is 3 more are there 444 divided by 11 11 4s are 44 reminder is 4 1 176 is 11 into 16 11 i got the reminder 4 11 i got the reminder 4 next it is 16 16 means what is the divisibility rule for 16 last four digits last four digits should be divisible by 16 last four digits should be divisible by 16 2 means unit digit should be divisible by 2 4 means last two digits should be divisible by 4 3 means last three digits should be divisible by 8 4 means last four digits which is nothing but 44444 four, 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 divided by 16. 16 twos are 32, 124. 16 sevens are 112. One, 16, 16 means 16 twos are 32, 124. 124 means minus 4, minus 44. 16 threes are 48, minus 4, minus into minus plus. 4 is the reminder again see how am i doing 16 threes are 48 minus 44 minus 444 divided by 16 16 threes are 48 minus 44 16 threes are 48 minus 4 minus into minus plus that means when divided by 16 when divided by 16 what is the reminder 4 when divided by 11 what is the reminder 4 11 a plus 4 equivalent to 16 b plus 4 4 4 cancel a 0 b 0 answer is 4 all are these advanced level questions 176 is 16 into 11 351 is 13 into 27 and 259 is 7 into 37 very very important concept any single digit written p minus 1 times is always divisible by p if p is a prime number that is the concept i used it for 16 what is the divisibility rule last four digits should be divisible by 16 little bit of calculation based problem it is little bit of calculation intensive problem be little careful while solving the problem calculation intensive calculation intensive next one next one i am doing reminder when divisibility rule for 101 and 99 divisibility rule for 99 comma 101 so this will become reminder when 10 square divided by 99 is 100 divided by 99 is 1. Reminder 1. 10 square divided by 101. 100 divided by 101 is minus 1. Minus 1. That means what will be the divisibility rule? Start from right hand side. Start from right hand side. Take a group of two digits. 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 Add them. That is the divisibility rule for 99. Add and subtract them. Add and subtract them. 
that is the divisibility rule for 101 are you all with me start from right hand side take a group of two digits add them that is the divisibility rule for 99 add and subtract them that is the divisibility rule for 101 another important point any two digit number any two digit number written even number of times any two digit number written even number of times is always divisible by 101 any two digit number written even number of times is always divisible by 101. Why it is divisible by 101? 1212 divided by 101. These 12 into 2, 10 square plus 12 divided by 101. 10 square divided by 101 is minus 1. Minus 12 plus 12 is 0. Any two digit number written even number of times is always divisible by 101 any two digit number written even number of times is always divisible by 101 if it is the divisibility rule for 99 start from right hand side take a group of two digits add them i hope it is clear right take a group of two digits i am not well i am suffering from cold please cooperate it 10 square divided by 99 is 1. This is the concept. Now let us solve the problems. What is the remainder when n is divided by 101? Same concept. Remainder when 10 square divided by 101. 100 divided by 101 is minus 1. So these are nothing but 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10 and so, and so on up to 38, 39, 40, 41, 42 divided by 101. So these are nothing but 41, 42. Take a group of two digits, alternatively add and subtract. 42 minus 41 is 1. Again if I take 40, 39. Take a group of two digits, alternatively add and subtract and so on up to how much it will be 39, 38, 37, 36, 35, 34, 33, 32, 31. I hope it is clear, right? 30, 30, 29, again minus 1, 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21. Till 21, I will get it. Next, 2019. Are you all with me? 2019, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. So instead of doing that one, 11 and so on. From here to here, 11 to 42. 11 to 42, 32 groups are there. 11 to 42. 11 to 42, it is nothing but... 32 digits are there. So take a group of two digits alternatively plus and minus 1, plus and minus 1, plus and minus 1. From 11 to 42, total digits are 32 digits. 32 digits. 32 digits is nothing but 16 groups. Each group the net value it is 1. Each group the net value it is 1. Are you all with me? So 16 into that means this entire answer will be 16 into 2 32 from here 32 alternatively take a group of two digits alternatively plus minus alternatively plus minus so what will be the answer answer is 23 minus 1 is 22 67 minus 45 is 22 10 minus 89 is minus 79 plus 32 minus 79 divided by 101. I hope the logic is clear. Why little bit of complication is required? Because first I wrote a single digit number, then I wrote a two digit number. 10, 11 and so on up to 42. From 11 to 42 there are 32 digits are there. That means there are 16 groups are there. Each group is of two digits. Each group, each group is of 32 digits are there. So I took it, took it into a group of two digits, 16 groups. Each group is giving you 1111. So 11111. So total 2 into 16, 
2 into 16. I hope it is clear, right? Extra 10 is there, 10 minus 89, 67 minus 45, 23 minus 1. If you calculate it, you will get the answer. Idea clear? Little bit of again a calculation intensive problem. Idea is 10 square divided by 101 is minus 1. Idea clear? Next one. Find the remainder when the number is divided by 99. Number is divided by 99. So 99 is nothing but 10 square divided by 99, it is 1. It is 1. That means 42, 41, 40 and so on up to 11. 11, 12. Take a group of 2 digits, add them. Take a group of 2 digits and add them. Till here I will get 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 divided by 99. So these take a group of 2 digits, take a group of 2 digits, take a group of 2 digits, take a group of 2 digits and add them. Take a group of 2 digits and add them. So answer is nothing but a reminder of 23 plus 1 is 24 plus 45, plus 67, plus 89, plus 10, plus from 11 to 42, from 11 to 42, total how many numbers are there? 32 numbers are there, n by 2 into first term plus last term, 32 by 2 into 11 plus 42. So what will be the answer? 20 plus 40, 60, 60 plus 60, 120. 120 plus 80, 200. So these 200 plus 4 plus 5, 9, 9 plus 7, 16, 16 plus 9, 25, 25 plus 10 plus 32 by 2, 16, 16 into 53 divided by 99. Whatever the answer that you will get it, that itself is the answer. Little bit of calculation intensive, but the method remains the same. What is the method? 10 square divided by 101 is minus 1. 10 square divided by 99 is plus 1. Entire concept uses this one. Reminder 1. 10 square divided by 101 is minus 1. 10 square divided by 99 is plus 1. Divided by 99 is plus 1. Idea clear, right? I hope the approach is clear. Next one. Next, another beautiful question. What is the remainder when n is divided by 41 into 271? First, we will discuss the concept. First, we will discuss the concept. Suppose if I take 10 power 5 divided by 41, 10 power 5 divided by 41, let us see what is happening. So 41 into 271, 41 into 271, if you do it, you will get a number that we will discuss a little later. Now 10 power 5 is nothing but 10 square whole square into 10 power 1 divided by 41. 10 square is 100. 41 twos are 82. 18 square is 324 into 10 divided by 41. 41 eights are 328 minus 4 minus 40. Minus 40 is nothing but 1. Minus 40 is nothing but 1. Are you all with me? Minus 40 is nothing but 1. Again, I am solving. 10 square whole square into 10 divided by 41. 100 divided by 41. 41 twos are 82. 18. 18 square is 324 into 10 by 41. 41 eights are 328 minus 4 minus 40. 41 minus 40, it is 1. So, these 1. This one. I hope it is clear, right? Similarly, suppose if I do by 271, 10 power 5 divided by 271. What is the last value that we got it? So, 10 power 5, 10 power 5. So, here if I do 10 power 
टेन क्यूब इंटू टेन स्क्वेर डिवैडेड बै टू सेवेंटी वन टेन क्यूब इज नथिंग बट थौज टू सेवेंटी वन थ्री जार एट हंड्रेड एंड थर्टीन एट हंड्रेड एंड थर्टीन मीन वन एटी सेवन टू सेवेंटी वन इंटू थ्री इज थ्री थ्री सेवन जार ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी वन एट हंड्रेड एंड थर्टीन सो रिमेनिंग इज वन एटी सेवन इंटू हंड्रेड डिवैडेड बै टू सेवेंटी वन सो इफ यू डू यू विल गेट अगेन प्लस वन you will get again plus 1 i hope it is clear you don't need to do all this very important concept is there that we will discuss right little later 10 power 5 divided by 41 it is 1 remember this 10 power 5 divided by 41 is 1 10 power 5 divided by 271 is 1 so what we will do is what we'll do is first we'll calculate what is 41 into 271 some important conclusions can be drawn i hope it is clear so what i wrote here 10 power 5 divided by 41 is 1 10 power 5 divided by 271 it is also 1 let us see whether it is there or not 41 into 271 let us calculate what is 41 into 271 so this is nothing but 40 plus 1 into 271 zero 1 fours are 4 27 fours are 108 plus 271 so this is nothing but 1 1 1 1 it is five ones it is five ones it is five ones so 41 into 271 is 5 ones now how am i using this one so this is nothing but 10 power 5 minus 1 plus 1 when divided by 41 can i write like this 10 power 5 minus 1 is 10 square minus 1 is 99 2 nines 10 cube minus 1 is 3 nines 10 power 5 minus 1 is 4 nines 4 10 10 power 5 minus 1 is 5 nines plus 1 divided by 41. 5 nines is 9 into 5 ones. 9 into 5 ones. 5 ones is divisible by 41. I hope the idea is clear. For 10 power 5 divided by 41 is 1. 10 power 5 divided by 271 is 1. Either you can do by using remainder concept or you can multiply both of this. 41 into 271 is 5 ones, right? So 10 power 5 subtract 1, add 1. 5 nines plus 1 divided by 41. 5 nines is 9 into 5 ones. 5 ones is divided by 41. Idea clear? Now, where am I using this concept? 10 power 5 divided by 41, which is nothing but 1. That means. Five six eight nine. Five six eight nine. If I take five six eight seven eight nine, a five-digit number two times, two times. What will be the answer? Start from rightmost, take a group of five digits and add them. So what I will get? I will get two into five six eight seven eight nine divided by forty one. I hope the idea is clear. That means if five six seven eight nine is written two times, I got two into five six seven eight nine. If it is written hundred times, I will get hundred into five six seven eight nine divided by forty one. Whatever the answer that you will get, that itself is the answer for the question. Same approach also holds good. Five six seven eight nine written two times is two into five six seven eight nine. If it is written Hundred times, hundred times is right. Answer will be hundred into five six seven eight nine divided by two seventy one. Idea perfect clear, right? A five six seven eight nine written two times is two into five six seven eight nine. If it is written hundred times is hundred into five six seven eight nine. Idea clear, right? Little bit of advanced level questions. Next one. I now. Now another concept. Any single digit. Any single digit. 
return p minus 1 times any single digit return p minus 1 times is always divisible by p is always divisible by p is always divisible by p if p is prime if p is prime p is not equal to 2 3 and 5 that means if 2 is written 40 times if 2 is written 40 times when divided by 41 remainder is 0 when 2 is written 3 is written 66 times when divided by 67 what is the remainder 0 any single digit written p minus 1 times is always divisible by p if p is a prime p not equal to 2 3 and 5 this i am going to use in this concept now if you see here find the remainder when n is divided by 41 n is divided by 41 can i say 41 into 271 it is nothing but 5 ones suppose remainder when 2 is written 5 times 2 is written 5 times divided by 41 this can be written as 2 into 5 ones divided by 41 5 ones is divided by 41 what will be the remainder 0 that means any single digit any single digit written five times any single digit written in groups of five any single digit written in groups of five is always divisible by 41 comma 271 any single digit written in groups of five it is always divisible by 41 or 271 extremely important point when divided by 41 any single digit written in groups of 5 5 5 times it is 0 10 times it is 0 5 24 is 120 times it is 0 so remainder is triple 2 divided by 41 so 41 5 is 205 remainder is 17 first one answer is 17 similarly 222 divided by 271 271 zeros are 271 answer is 222 i hope the idea is clear any single digit written in groups of 5 is always divisible by 41 and 271 any single digit written in groups of 5 is always divisible by 41 and 271 so if it is 5 times 5 times 0 10 times 0 120 times 0 remaining is triple 2 41 threes are 120 41 threes are 5 are 205 remainder is 17 please make a note of this class uh, point today's class is a very high advanced level of how to use the divisibility rule for the concepts that we discussed 41 into 271 this is the concept next one next 73 into 137 if i do 73 into 137 i will get this value 10 power 4 plus 1 you can do multiplication and you can check it out 73 into 137 is 10 power 4 plus 1 so if i do 10 power 4 divided by 73 here it is nothing but remainder 1 10 square into 10 square divided by 73 73 ones are 73 remainder is 27 27 into 27 is 729 729 divided by 73 73 tens are 730 negative remainder minus 1 negative reminder negative reminder minus 1 i hope it is clear right it is 137 right similarly you can do 10 power 4 divided by 137 this also will give you minus 1 suppose if i take question like this 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 divided by 73 so here it is 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 so here it is 1 2 3 4 into 10 power 4 
written even times is always divisible by 73 and 137. Please make a note of it. Any four digit number written even number of times is always divisible by any four digit number written even number of times is always divisible by 73 and 137. Extremely important concept based upon the multiplication of 73 and 137. 10 power 4 divided by 73 is minus 1. 10 power 4 divided by 137 also it is minus 1. Idea clear? Now based upon this one. Reminder 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 divided by 73. Any 4 digit number written even number of times. What is the concept? Any 4 digit number any four digit number written even number of times any four digit number written even number of times is always divisible by 73 and 137 so these is zero 30 times is nothing but even number of times 30 times is nothing but even number of times first one and second one answer is zero because of this concept any four digit number written even number of times is always divisible by 73 and 137. Idea clear, right? Idea, I hope the idea is clear. Next one, right? Next one. Any, this is another variety of question. N is written as 77777 50 times. What is the concept? Find the reminder when N is divided by 17. Reminder 1, 10 power 8 divided by 17, if you do it, you will get minus 1. You will get minus 1, right? There, there are two conclusions. First conclusion is any single digit, any single digit written in groups of 16, written in groups of 16, is always divisible by 17 because 17 is a prime number 17 is a prime number so in groups of 16 16 threes are 48 remaining is 2 77 divided by 17 17 fours are 68 reminder is 9 any single digit written in groups of 16 is always divisible by 17. 17 is a prime number. So 17 means written in groups of 16. 16, 16, 16, 16. 16 threes are 48. Reminder is 77. 17 fours are 68. What is the reminder? 9. I hope the idea is clear. Similarly, find the reminder when n is divided by 19. Two ways you can do. 10 power 9 divided by 19, it is minus 1. Or any single digit, any single digit, any single digit written in groups of 18, any single digit written in groups of 18 is always divisible by 19 because 19 is a prime number. Because 19 is a prime number. So in groups of 18, 18 fours are 72. How many are left? 3 18s are left. 3 8s are left. Triple 8 divided by 19. 19 fours are 76. 128. 128 means 19 6 are 114. Reminder how much it is there? 14. Any single digit written in groups of 18 is always divisible by 19 because 19 is a prime number. Very advanced level questions. This class I want you to do a recap once again whenever you get a time period. 10 power 9 divided by 19 is 1. Idea clear, right? Next one. Any same idea, any single digit, what is the idea that we are using? Any single digit, any single digit 
रिटर्न पी माइनस वन टाइम्स एनी सिंगल डिजिट रिटर्न पी माइनस वन टाइम्स इज ऑलवेज डिविजिबल बाय पी इफ पी इज ए प्राइम नंबर इफ पी इज ए प्राइम नंबर पी नॉट इक्वल एंड टू टू थ्री एंड फाइव एनी सिंगल डिजिट रिटर्न इन ग्रुप्स ऑफ सिक P minus one times is always divisible by P. P is a prime number. Here P is sixty-seven. That means written sixty-six times. Any single digit written sixty-six times is always divisible by sixty-seven. Sixty-seven twos are one thirty-two. Remaining is three fives. Triple five divided by sixty-seven. Whatever the remainder that you get it, that itself is the answer. I hope the idea is clear. What are the concepts that we discuss it today? Any single digit, any single digit written p minus one times. So we discussed the application of below problems. Application for divisibility rule for twenty-seven and thirty-seven. Divisibility rule for seven, eleven, thirteen. Divisibility rule for two, fifteen, nine, one, seventy-six, and three, fifty-one. Divisibility rule for sixteen. Divisibility rule for nineteen, nine, and hundred and one. Divisibility rule for seventeen, nineteen, sixty-seven. Divisibility rule for divisibility rule for forty-one and two, seventy-one. Divisibility rule for seventy-three and one thirty-seven. What is the last concept that we discussed? Any single digit, any single digit written, written in p minus one times, written p minus one times is always divisible by p if p is a prime number. Any single digit written. P minus one times is always divisible by P if P is a prime number. Advanced class, kindly listen to each and every problem. Whatever I discussed, understand the understand the idea in every question and try to solve. Some questions are calculation intensive. Calculation intensive. That be little careful. Like this question, right? It is calculation intensive. Here also the concept any two digit number written even number of times. I hope you enjoyed the class. In case if you enjoyed the class and if you think that these concepts are not taught in any of the coaching centers or YouTube live class and you understand the way I teach, you can call my number to buy the course at a discounted price. Thanks a lot. With love, Anil Nair.